Hey everybody, it's Trevor, and this is my video on Ghost Adventures the Silent Movie Theater. But before I actually get into the video, Ghost Adventures videos from here on out are going to, to change. Usually how they go is during the episode, I, I, I will take notes on everything that happened in the episode, and whenever I go to record my video, I'll talk about what I wrote down or everything that happened in the episode. And good chances that 90% of the people that watch my videos have already seen the new episode. So from here on out, I'm just going to talk about the big pieces of evidence or, or what caught my eye the most. So I may talk about two pieces of, of, like, of evidence or three pieces of evidence or one piece of evidence. I don't know. So here we go. This is my thoughts on Ghost Adventures, the silent movie theater. A man by the name of Lawrence Austin was once killed in the silent movie theater. And a man paid someone else $25,000 to kill him. Don Hampton, he is one of the previous owners that owned the theater. He was killed practically by his own building. Upstairs on, on, on the second floor was the uh, footage film room where they keep all the uh, extra rolls or the used rolls of film. Whenever he lived up in that part of the building, the chemicals in that room that it takes to preserve the film rolls, he, br he breathed in so much of the chemicals that he practically asphyxiated himself and he died. And in the actual theater, it like itself, as you know, on the left and right of theaters in general, there is like walkways going up and down the theater so you can get to a seat. And at the very bottom of the theater, there's a little storage room or employee only like area. And Zach and the crew were doing a interview there. Well, Mike, their audio guy, he, he, he had to stop the interview because he said that he saw a dark shadow walk like, like around the corner in, like into one of those rooms. And Zach was really shocked because Mike is actually a, a, a skeptic, and he this is the first time he's a, he, 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 he. And Zach was shocked because Mike is a skeptic, and this is the first time he has ever seen a shadow. So they did a spirit box session, and they asked, "Did we see you, or did Mike see you?" And they got the word yes. Zach invited Michael and Marty Perry, their psychic mediums. And whenever they came in, they obviously came into the building knowing nothing about the building. They didn't know what building that, the, that, that, that they were in. They didn't know any history. They didn't even know the name of the building. Mike sat down in, in one of the seats where Zach and the crew previously, previously got a, a, a thermal signature. Michael was sitting down like in the seat and he wrote, or he, and he wrote down the word legs. L-E-G-S, legs. And Zach said, and Zach was like fidgeting, going up and down. And then Michael said, what's wrong, Zach? And then Zach just said, I just had a random urge to run. I don't know why, I, I, I just had a random urge to run. So Michael said, run. So <laughs> Zach ran up and down the uh, walkway. Once he came back, Marty said, I, I, I wrote down legs. Or Michael said, I, I wrote down legs. And that's when Zach was like, holy, that, that, that's awesome. Like, the, the communication in a way there was, is amazing. And there's three pieces of, of evidence that I would like to talk about. One being ha like happening at the very beginning of the investigation. They were pointing cameras at Billy. And Billy said, I feel like this pressure like on my neck area. Like someone was hugging him or grabbing him from behind and so Zach got out the uh, the uh, the SOS camera which is a structured like structured light center camera and they pointed it at Billy and within seconds a spirit figure mapped in standing on top of Z of, of, of Billy's neck very small figure maybe probably about three 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 feet in size but it was standing up on Billy's neck. And whenever a spirit man like manifests any, in any way, shape, shape, or form, 
on any piece of the equipment. It could take multiple forms. So maybe this was the spirit of an old actor or an old owner just like touching him or grabbing him in some way. I don't know. And the second piece of, of evidence is Zack sees a glowing face. Now, they don't capture this glowing face on camera. The only thing that captured this glowing face was Zack's eyes. He doesn't often see, and if you saw the episode, he doesn't often react to floating apparitions or floating figures in the way he did in the silent movie theater. Because once again, he never captured it like on camera. But the last time that I can re 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 remember him seeing a glowing face is at the old water, no, no, not the old wall, like Washoe Club. It was at a birdcage, birdcage theater. The last time that he saw a, a glowing face that I can, I can remember without captioning it on camera was at Birdcage Theater where he was looking at the picture of, like of like of the girls like on the walls and as soon as he was like trying to like see like what which girl was what he looked over to the left and he reacted and jumped back because he saw a glowing I think red face he said and in this episode he saw a glow a glowing face too but what just popped into my head was these both happened at theaters. Could it could these buildings be in theaters have an effect? Or the or theaters have are obvious haunted theaters are known to carry the spirits of previous actors. So maybe these spirits are acting out faces. I, I don't know. But that's weird. Him seeing a, a, a glowing face here at the silent movie theater. The last time that he saw a big glowing face off camera was at another theater, Birdcage, Birdcage Theater. That's interesting. The last piece of evidence that I would like to talk about is right as um, Billy, Aaron, and Zach all, all, all get ready just to, to sit down in the seats in the theater to do like a small verbal investigation while, like, while sitting down. Zach was coming out from a, a, a row of seats to go up into a, a, another row of, like, of seats. Right as he turned and got into the walkway, a orb, a light anomaly, appeared behind him and followed him for probably about 10 feet. And then I think it, it turned back around, I think, and disappeared. Could that be a spear that was trying to either attach to to him or follow him? Because we both know that Zack has a lot of spirits that are attached to him. So could that be a could that be a spear that was following him but was scared that Zack might see the spirit? Or I don't know. But that's all I got for this video of Ghost Adventures: The Silent Movie Theater. And, and once again. You know how the uh, Ghost Adventures videos are going to change for, from here on out. And yeah, I will see you in the next one.